Chilo's uh, working on his music in the background. So I'm gonna be here jamming out, doing this lodestone video, sipping my drink, celebrating New Year. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. I'm gonna wait for some of you to join me because I know you guys have been waiting for this video. I love these glasses, you guys. My sister blessed me with these. It's a perfect serving. And it's stemless, so a bitch don't gotta worry about knocking it down. <laughs> it could still happen, but I'm being careful. <laughs> Okay, I have three of you with me now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to talking about these lodestones for you guys that just have joined me. Hi, Erica. Um, Jilo's working on his music in the background. So he's uh, giving me some nice background music, which I love because I love incorporating music into my working, especially when it's upbeat, uplifting, positive. It's awesome to incorporate in your working. So, babe, keep it coming. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tip you guys so you guys can see my lodestone babies. My babies right here, my new babies, my new children. These are them. So, I already have a pair, but I wanted to... You know, since I'm doing this video, I want to show you guys from step one what you're going to do. These are my lodestones. So this one right here, this is my boy. Yes, and they are their genders. So if you guys purchase any lodestones from me and from the shop, hi Erica, hi Trini. If you guys uh, purchase any lodestones from us at the shop, uh, hi Renee, yeah, they keep their energy together, yes, um, loving the uh, ambiance, oh, I know, me too, I'm, I'm loving the vibe today, so, uh, it's a little bit hot in here in the kitchen, because I got the, I got the slow cooker going, I got the rice, the rice just got done, you know, and I got candles everywhere, um, to bring in the new light and everything, so I, I got everything going, so this is my boy right here, this is my male, this is my girl right here. This is my female. So if you guys purchase stones from us, load stones from us, we pick these very carefully and we pick them intuitively and we find the match, the male and the female, which ones go together. And when you guys purchase load stones from us, you will get a male and a female together, a pair. You do not purchase these guys separately. They need to work together. They need a pair. They need... Hi, Anna! Oh my god! I'm so glad you're joining. Um, so you need to have these guys in a pair. They need to be in a couple. They cannot. You can't have one without the other. They work with each other. This is the divine masculine and divine feminine energies. And they need each other in order for them to be very strong, in order for them to work together. Lodestones are also known as magnetite. So these are a natural form of magnet. These, so you see these little hairs right here? Jido hates it when I do this, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't see this. He hates it when I do this, but like you can actually push these down. That is just the magnet. See, and then look, it pops right back up. It bothers him when I do this because he, he says that they feel it. But, um, you know, all these little... All these little hairs on them, this is all their food. When you feed them, they, they have these little hairs on them. It's, they're really amazing. They're awesome, you guys. So I, I really love lodestones when working, when doing any type of workings where you're trying to attract. Yes, Trini, they're big lodestones. These are what you're going to get, Trini. Once you get your package, these are what are coming to you, the big lodestones. Um, I, these are the big ones. Uh, they're, Anna, they're $11 at the shop. You get the male and the female, um, and I'm going to show you how you guys can keep working with these where you don't have to get a new pair every time you need a working done. I'm going to show you guys this. So, um, and a lot of places won't tell you this because they want you to keep buying, yes, it's 11 for the pair together. 
For $11, you get the male and the female together. Uh, we never sell them separately. They, If you buy one, you're getting the other, and they're $11. Hi, Nadra. You joined us just in time. I got I got to talking about the lodestones. Um, so if there was anything that you missed, because I've been on here for about six, almost six minutes now, five minutes and 25 seconds. So if there's anything that you missed, you can always go back and, and uh, you know, look at that. But so these right here, these are live lodestones. So you guys, anything, and please keep in mind, anything that you guys get that are, is alive, Rosa Jericho, uh, my voodoo dolls, the lodestones, anything that you guys get that is living, please, please keep in mind that these are responsibilities. If you guys do not like to be responsible for things, then these, these guys are not for you because these need to be fed. They need to be taken care of. These are living beings right here, just like the stones. All crystals are living beings, but lodestones especially need very special care. Hi, Missy. Welcome. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start just telling you about these lodestones. Like I said, they are alive, so you need to treat them as such. You need to treat them as if they were a pet, an uh, animal, a child. You need to treat these guys like they're a living beings. Um, no, it's okay, Missy. If, if you miss anything, you can go ahead and replay the video because I've been on here for about six minutes. Um, so I got to talking about lodestones, the price, and everything like that. If you're if you're interested in purchasing a pair for yourself, um, so when you are when you get your lodestones, you want to make sure that you cleanse these guys. Never, never, never with water. I cannot stress this enough. You do not put these guys in water. It is very bad for them. You will kill these guys. Do not put these guys in water. Never put them in water. If you are going to cleanse them, once you get your pair, you want to cleanse them using whiskey or Florida water. Florida water is not a water, you guys. I just want to clarify this because some there have there has been people that I've known that have mistaken Florida water to be water from Florida, from the you know from the uh, the water there in Florida. Like it's it's that's not what it is. Um, so you never want to use water with these guys because they will they will die. You cannot wash these guys in <laughs> water from Florida. Anna, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so never use water. And and the thing is too is that you guys are gonna get you guys are gonna get information with these guys. We do not just leave you guys hanging where you guys get these things in the mail and you don't know what to do with them or how to care for them. We give you information with your lodestones. So you are gonna know how to work with these guys. You are gonna know what to do with them, how to feed them, how to care for them. We will send you with all this information. If you guys purchase your lodestones from us, we do give you guys this. Um, why does water mess mess them up but not other liquids? Um, the thing is that with whiskey and with Florida water, they have, they have that alcohol content um that will not kill them because these these are they have metal these are made of of like certain metals whereas if you stick them in water they will start to rust and and you basically kill the magnetism of them and and you take their life away so it has to be florida water or or whiskey do i i can like you guys do not ever put your lodestones in water never put them in water please do not ever put them in water um you will drown them so um after you cleanse them okay with rubbing alcohol no rubbing alcohol at, no not not rubbing alcohol either they have to either be cleansed with whiskey or florida water um don't use anything else but whiskey or florida water you can get in it, it doesn't require a whole lot of whiskey if you go to the liquor stores and get the little they're like little tiny little bottles like shot bottles you can get yourself a bottle like that of jack daniels and and you can use that to cleanse these guys it's, it's not gonna have to be something that you're gonna have to constantly do like every day or anything like that if you want to do it monthly or every couple of months you cleanse your lodestones or you you feed them and that's the other thing too is that these these guys do um you sell the food at the shop right yes yes uh anna actually when you purchase the lodestones you also get a little you get a little dime bag <laughs> you get
a little sack of lodestone food. So these guys come with a little bit of lodestone food. Um, Trini, your lodestones are going to come with a little bag of food. So you will get one of these little pouches, which I, you know, thanks to my um, my job as, a, as when I was a, a very young adult, <laughs> I've learned how to seal up little bags like this. <laughs> so you will get a little sack <laughs> of lodestone food. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um so yes you guys you get lodestone food they enjoy whiskey if you want to if you want to know what it is that you feed you feed your lodestones you yes nader the highlight <laughs> if you want to know what you feed your lodestones you have to feed them either whiskey florida water or their their food right here which is like a it's a it's like a magnetic sand um, and you know we do we do have these these guys come with all of that just like I told you if you guys get your your lodestones from us we supply you with everything that you're gonna need to take care of these guys except for the whiskey and the Florida water but we do supply you with the food we supply you with the lodestones we supply you with the information that you're gonna need to take care of them um, they need to be fed uh, I recommend that you feed them every couple of weeks um, maybe every, maybe every month, once a month, if you if you feel like once a month is good. Uh, if you're working with these guys a lot, if you're working with these guys a lot, you're gonna want to feed them more because if you're asking them to work more and to work hard for you, then you want to feed them more. So I would recommend once a week to feed them, just like your Rosa Jericho, how you would change the water every Sunday. You could select the day that you're gonna use to feed these guys. That way, you get you get into a routine of feeding them. Um, uh, Missy, no, we do not have Florida water in the shop right now. Uh, unfortunately, as soon as we get it, it it's like it flies off of our shelves. So at the moment, we do not have it. But I hope to get some within the next week. Um, if you would like to stay in touch with me, uh, go ahead and text me, and I could let you know once we get it in. I could um, keep your number on file and then I'll, I'll text you as soon as I get them in. But yeah, Miss, Missy Anna had bought the last bottle. <laughs> we had actually put it to the side for her, but yeah, the Florida water just flies off our shelves. So um, yeah, just give me a, a text message, uh, Missy. I, if you don't have my number, you can go ahead and mark it down. It is 773-704-7053. Seven zero seven six, and if you missed it, you can replay this video, and then you can get it again. Um, okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I would cleanse these guys. So I have a little bit of Florida water right here. So you see, this is what Florida water is. It's not water from Florida. It's it's called Florida water, but it's actually a cologne. It's uh, like a perfume, like a cologne. Um, you know, so it's not actual water. It has an alcohol base in it. Louie, not now, baby. Oh, he wants me. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this, um, pour this Florida water on them. Give them a nice little cleanse. Oh, also, just to let you guys know, when you get your lodestones, you are going to want to find them a home before you, once you take them out of the bag, you want to find them a home. You want to have... A home that is ready for them so if you guys order any of these lodestones from me you make make sure that you start looking for a home for them and when I say a home I'm meaning a place to put these guys you want to have either a glass bowl a glass platter a wooden bowl or a wooden platter a copper or brass bowl you do not want to use anything else do not use anything that is gonna kill them so um, you want to stay away from plastic do not use plastic please do not use plastic at all. Um, you want to, like, once again, like I said, you want to either use a wooden bowl or platter, a copper bowl or platter, a brass bowl or platter, or a glass bowl or platter. I'm using a glass dish right here. You guys can get these at Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree. I got four of these for one dollar. It comes in a pack of four, so you, you can get these very, very cheap. You do not have to get anything very fancy-smancy. You can get whatever. You can, you know, be a savvy witch um, and and get yourself, go to Dollar Tree. You'll find yourself something very nice for your to house your lodestones. So when you get your lodestones, 
you want to make sure you have a house ready for them this is going to be their house right here this this glass dish is going to be their home um yes uh desert siren the 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 lodestones that i sell are this size so they they are pretty big you can see they're pretty big lodestones so um yeah they're they're really nice size and, um, you know, so you're going to go ahead and, and move your lodestones in the Florida water. You're going to get some of this black residue on you. It's normal, you know, when you're handling these guys, you are going to get some of that black, um, you know, that black metal on you. Um, hi, Nightwind Faye. Welcome. I hope you had a great day. So you're going to go ahead and move them around in the Florida water. Let the Florida water completely saturate them completely get all over them you see how these guys are all nice and wet now yeah does it siren we have the little ones but there's I, i'm gonna tell you the secret for the little ones you you guys are gonna fucking love me after this video <laughs> all right so I already got these guys in the Florida water. Now I'm going to start to make, and this isn't necessary. If you guys want to do this, you guys can. I feel like I want to do it for my lodestones. So this is my dad's, this is my daddy's mortar and pestle. This I was, um, you know, gifted this after his passing. So this has my dad's energy in it. This is my daddy right here. This has, I, and I haven't cleansed it. I was going to cleanse it because, you know, like all magical tools, you want to make sure that you cleanse them. But I, I didn't do that with my dad's uh, mortar and pestle because I want to keep his energy in here. I want to keep every everything, whatever he did in here, whatever he ground up, which I think, I don't know why, but I think he might have ground up some weed in here. But I want to keep that all in here because that's my daddy. That's, that's my love. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see. Let me catch up with you guys' comments really quick. Um... Very, oh, night when face said that uh, was a was a busy day. She had a very busy day. LOL. Glad I could catch your video. Lodestones are so interesting. Um, oh, Desert Siren, I love you anyway. I love you too. Uh, Nadra, we we will we will all, we always will. Uh, you can't find in SC. Well, Missy, uh, I I do I do ship so. Um, you know, yeah, Nadra says you can check out on Amazon. You can do that or you can also get them from me. Um, I do, I do have these. I don't have them on the website yet, but I do have them available in shop. I have, I want to say I have maybe seven pairs, maybe eight pairs available. So if you guys want them, let me know. Um, okay, awesome. And, and Missy, you do get, like I said, you get this little pouch of, of food with them and you get a, a nice little, a nice bit of information that comes along with these guys. So we don't just send you off with a, with a pair for, you know, with nothing, with nothing included. Um, okay, Desert, I'll, I'll save a pair for you as well. Um, oh, thank you, Nadra. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to create a little mixture because I want to, I want to burn some, I want to burn some charcoal and, and have, uh, I want to create this mixture of herbs and have the herbs burn on the charcoal and I want to bless these guys. And you can do this with whatever herbs you have on hand, whatever you want to use. Um, but I really enjoy using patchouli. I'm going to use some patchouli leaf right here. Patchouli is my ultimate favorite herb to work with. I love working with patchouli. I love patchouli oil. I, I love the grounding of it, the, the mustiness of it. A lot of people say it's too musty. I love it, though. It is my favorite. And I love it for doing um, business workings, also for drawing love, for sexual energy, for attraction, for, um, for uh you know, having attraction and, and with, between me and my husband, um, for alluring energy, for, for, uh, sensuality. Patchouli is very sensual. It's a very sensual herb. So I love working with patchouli. Um, Desert Siren, yes, they, they are male and female. Uh, the ones that I have right here, and and the ones that the ones that you guys get too, they have already they're already all in pairs, 
and I have gone through every stone and compared them and I, I picked out all the males, all the females and then after picking out the males and the females I figured out who goes good together and uh, so you will get a pair that, that is going to work well together and I hand pick all of them uh, when I get them in I get them in in just a big bag so um, you know sometimes at the end of picking them all out I'll end up with a couple males but I put them off to the side and once I get some more hopefully they'll be able to find a partner but I for right now I have some males off to the side for some reason I um, I had more males than females but I was able to get pairs and um, you know whatever I have left then they wait for the next batch that I get in and then we find them a girl <laughs> um, let's see okay Renee I'll save a set for you as well of course you guys um oh nadra you as well okay i i will put i will put these off to the side for you guys uh just you know text me on my phone number or you can even uh message me on facebook and we'll go ahead and figure out shipping and everything like that and i'll get them i'll get these guys to you um because i need other stuff so yes yes desert siren of course you can message me with the order you can text me girl we've known each other long enough shit <laughs> <laughs> you could text me desert siren all right and so i'm gonna use patchouli and then i'm also gonna use lavender because i want to bring in that calming calming for the new year calm and and tranquility and also some some more abundance some you can never have enough right so i'm gonna go ahead and throw that intention in there as well so right now i have some nice patchouli and some lavender very beautiful now I'm going to put in, oh my God, Gilo is going to want to like, he's going to want to get it on after this. <laughs> I'm put uh, some of this uh, resin in here. This is passion resin. We don't have any more of this at the shop. We had one more container left and we ended up keeping, me and uh, Red Witch, we ended up keeping it for ourselves because we love it so much. So we, we burn it at the shop all the time and and we like to take some home here and there. It is a passion resin. Uh, we usually get this in for um, in the month of February for Valentine's Day. Uh, so let's see. My husband doesn't like the smell of patchouli. Oh, Joe, you need to get with it. <laughs> um, okay, Nightwind Faye. Yeah, I'll save you a pair as well. And message me. Yes, message me on Facebook. Uh, no, Anna, I'm, I'm doing this because I want to, um, I'm, I'm making an herb mixture because I'm going to burn it on the charcoal and I'm going to run these guys through the smoke to, to put this intention in them because I, I, these guys are going to be my permanent workers. These are not going to go to any particular spell. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with these and how you won't have to keep buying them over and over again. Um, especially if you, you have access to the smaller ones. These are going to be my constant workers, so I'm going to program them for prosperity, for love, for success, for abundance, for good health, for calming, for tranquility. That's, that's what's all going in here. That energy is going to be in these guys, and these guys can be programmed for all kinds of things. Anything that you're wanting to draw into you, to attract to yourself, these are some big magnets. So whatever it is that you're wanting to program them for, you can do that. Um... They're good for drawing and attraction and for manifesting. Manifesting whatever it is that you desire. They're used for money, for love, success, romance, sex, business success, clients. If you're wanting to get a job, if you're needing to find a job for this year to come, for manifesting whatever it is that you desire, these guys will work. So I'm going to go ahead and grind this mixture up because this is what I'm going to use as a consecrating of my intention and what I'm wanting to bring in. A witchy tip, you guys, when you're grinding your herbs, um, some people like will smash them like this. That's not how you do it. The way that you do it, you grab it like this, you push, you twist, push and twist, push and twist, push and twist. You do not, you don't have to sit there and like stab it. You know what I mean? Like, don't stab it because then you're putting it. You're putting a different kind of energy. You want to push it and twist it, and you want to keep doing that. So 
but now I have this nice mixture. It's oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to burn this. I'm actually gonna take a candle because when you get these guys, and you don't have to do this, this is all on you. But I like to anything that I'm welcoming in that I'm bringing into my home, whether it be my Rose of Jericho, Lodestones, uh, Voodoo dolls, whatever it is that you're bringing in. I like to light a candle because I like to bring light. Bring light. Have have that light shining so that spirit can find you. They they are now gonna call this home. This is where they're coming to. That light is is their way of finding their their path, their way to you. For spirit to find their way to you. So I like to light a candle whenever I'm welcoming an energy or a spirit into my home. I always do a candle for it. So I'm actually gonna take some of this herb mixture. And I'm going to sprinkle it onto the candle. You know what? First, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse it because um, you never know where things have been before. So you want to go ahead and cleanse it. I'm going to use a little bit of Florida water just to kind of cleanse it and get some of that, you know, wherever, whoever had touched it from before, get that energy off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me read your comments really quick. Um... I just need a man point. Um, that's that's what the tell him. That's oh, Erica. Yeah, I'm I'm telling you. If Joe knew what patchouli did, I'm sure Joe would enjoy patchouli a whole lot more. Um, uh, Nightwind face says, "Good. I'm gonna need romance from my man after we're done moving." LOL. <laughs> Oh, geez, I just blew into my herbs. Um, Desert says, well, well, hell, I've been doing it wrong then. Uh, Nadra says, I just need a man, I just need a man point. Uh, let's see, Missy says, I like your music. Erica says, me too. And then Stacy says, me too, Nadra. Uh, yeah, that's my, that's, that's my babe. He's over there working on his music right now, so... Um, he does reggaeton, so if you guys like reggaeton at all, he's going to be coming out with his channel in 2018. I'm really excited with that because I'm going to be helping him with that as well. Uh, I have actually come out in one of his songs. Um, I'm not much of a singer, but he actually got me to, you know, go into one of his songs and, you know, it's just a very simple, I'm not, I don't actually have a verse or anything because I get stage fright weird right because i talk to you guys and everything but for some reason when i get into the booth and i have the microphone in front of my face i choke like eminem <laughs> uh so yeah he got me to get onto one of his songs so yeah you guys will have to check him out he does really good music and he's he's also a drummer and yeah he's just amazing yeah i know he's jamming oh i think he does his sirens she says we're too cute Aw, thank you guys so much. So, okay, I went ahead and I cleansed my little tea light. You don't need a big, you don't need a big candle. It doesn't have to be a big, you know, big ritual candle or anything like that. Very simple. Spirit is not complicated. And they don't want you to be, to make it complicated. They're like, bitch, just keep it simple. <laughs> So there you go. You see that? I, I just put some of that herbs. Um, party at Nina's. Yeah. <laughs> so I just put some of the herbs on this candle. And also what I wanted to do. And, and again, this is, not, this is not something that you're required to have to do. But I really wanted to do it because I want to incorporate more of that energy. I have some crystal chips that I'm going to be putting onto the candle. So this, I have some amethyst crystal chips. And I'm going to put an amethyst crystal chip because I want to enhance my spirituality because I had told you guys in 2018 I'm wanting to get more into working with more of my knowledge, learning more and, and working more like writing in my book of shadows, um, getting to work more with my spell work and everything because I do a lot of stuff for others but I want to start doing more for myself and, and for my husband as well um, because he's, he's an up and coming artist. So I definitely want to help him too. And also I'm going to do a Chips of Peridot to bring in that financial success, financial stability, abundance, 
And I, the one that I had put before, I had put some rose quartz. Rose quartz is really good for love energy. I want to keep me and my husband having that love that we have, that bond that we have, that connection. Um, you know, me and him, we're very silly together, and we have a lot of fun. Every day is, every day is an enjoyable day. It's an enjoyable time with him. So, and I really love that. So I want to keep that going. Um, oh, Renee, you would love to see me write a book. You're so sweet. Oh, my God, you guys. I love you, Renee. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab one of my candles. Let's see which guy wants to come with me. I'm going to grab one of my candles because the thing is that I don't like to use a lighter. I don't like to use a lighter when I'm doing uh, my spells. I like to use a flame that's already... Where do I have my tricycle? Oh, there it goes. I like to use a natural flame. I don't like to hold a lighter up to my charcoal. Um, I, I like to use a natural flame. So I have a candle right here that's already lit. I'm going to go ahead and light my charcoal disc. And I'm not using a full disc. It doesn't have to be in Sahara. You don't need a whole disc. If you, got, if you have a little apartment like me, you don't need a whole disc. I just cut it in a little piece. And you know, you're again, you're saving your materials. You don't need to use a whole charcoal disc for what? For you to have to go out and have to buy more. No, cut that bitch in half. Use a little portion of it, and you get to, you get more you get more bang for your dollar. You see that? That's all you need. A little goes a long way when it comes to witchcraft. Don't need a whole lot. Aw, thank you guys. Oh, thank you so much. A book would be awesome. Maybe I could get Red Witch to help me out. <laughs> Alright, so I have that going in my big old cauldron right here. Let me move this guy out the way. I have the uh, charcoal, little piece of charcoal. Like I said, you don't need a whole big charcoal disc. Just use a little charcoal. And if you don't have crystal chips, you can use crystals. If you have green aventurine, you can put green aventurine on one of the sides of the candle. You can put a rose quartz on the other side of the candle. You can put a amethyst. If you have a chunk of amethyst, you can put it on the other side of the candle. Clear quartz. If you want to enhance the other stones and um, and make that, that energy more stronger, you can go ahead and do that too. Um, make a you can form a little crystal grid around your candle. Hold on, I'm out, I'm out of frame. You can form a little crystal grid around your candle, and and you'll get just the same intention. Everything you don't have to sacrifice crystals in your candle if you don't have the chips, and if you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do it that way. Work with what you have. You don't have to go out and try to find chips like, oh, I need crystal chips now so I can put it in my candle. No, use what you have, what you have on hand. That's how witches have been doing it from the get-go. Since the beginning of time, they have used what it was that they had. So there you go. Very simple. And then um, now my charcoal disc is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this herb mixture. I'm going to drop it onto my charcoal disc. Get that nice smoke. You can see that when, when the energy is going for me, my fingers always shake. That's how I know it's good. See that? Take these guys, run them through the smoke. I 
I threw my hand in a clockwise motion because I'm bringing in energy. I'm bringing all this energy. Everything that I put into that herbs, the herb mixture that I made, this smoke right here is the spirit leaving the herbs. The, the spirit that I had put into that, um, that herb mixture, the energy that I had put in, that smoke right now, that is the energy lifting up. So right now I'm bathing each lodestone with that energy, with that essence. And you can make that energy, that mixture, if you want to do it this way, you can. If not, you don't have to, but whatever it is that you're wanting to bring in, maybe it could be uh, purity, maybe it could be protection, maybe it could be, um, you know, whatever, whatever it is. If you're, if you feel like you're needing more something for you, more self-love, put that intention into this stone, because that's exactly what it's going to do. You can program these guys to do whatever you want. So right there what I had done, now that I um, already put my intention, I can start talking. So whew, whew, that was a lot. Right now what I just did is I did my sigils. I did my sigils and you can do whatever sigils you want, whatever comes to you, whatever you feel inspired to do. And then I did, you, you've seen why I did this. That is me giving it life, giving it a heartbeat giving it a heartbeat so you're giving it life you're pumping life into it and then when I pushed it in that's me pushing that energy into that candle and then there you go then you have your candle your candle is ready to work your candle is ready to invite these energies your lodestones are ready everything is ready to go so then Whatever intention that you're wanting to put into these guys, you can you guys can program them to do whatever you want. Um, let's see. So the right here, the magnetic sand that you're getting, this is uh, nickel. It's actually ground up nickel. Um, and you want to be sure to feed your lodestones a pinch of food. Anointing. Uh, you can use anointing oil as well if you have anointing oil, or if you want to create your own anointing oil. Um, you know, you can, or you can even get anointing oil from us if you would like. Uh, you know, we, we do oils. If there is a certain deity that you would like to have an anointing oil to represent that deity that you work with, we can, we can custom make oils for you. Um, and we would, of course, we would write down our recipe and we would keep it on file. Anytime that you're needing that recipe again, we can go ahead and make it. Um, but you could also feed them a few drops of whiskey, a few drops of Florida water. You want to do this at least once a week to every two weeks. If you, if you don't work with them as much, the more that you put these guys to work, the more that you're going to have to feed them. Let's see. Let me read some of your comments. Oh, thank you, Nightwind Faye. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Nadra. Um, then you can also write, write your affirmations on a piece of brown paper or parchment paper. I recommend using parchment paper. I really love to write my affirmations um, using uh, ink and a quill. And I will write my affirmations on parchment paper. If you guys are wanting to get a, a spell kit, a spell writing kit, I do offer these as well. I, I have them on my website. If you guys are needing a, a kit to write your spells with. 
I uh, in your spell kit it comes in your spell writing kit you get a quill um, that I have hand decorated myself you get a vial of bats blood and you get um, not, like you get five really nice sheets of parchment paper that you can cut into smaller pieces because you don't need a whole lot like I told you guys um, you you want to use you can use very little and and a little goes a long way you don't need to, to use a lot of materials be savvy with the things that you have and and you know you don't need a whole lot it doesn't mean because you use a lot that it makes it more powerful or more stronger you can use a little and it goes a long way like look at right now that little piece of charcoal still going it's still going and look at I can add some more herb if I want to and it's still burning you don't need a lot you don't need a lot to do your workings you can you can save money save product and still have a lot to work with and the intention is still very strong okay let me see no brown paper brown paper bag yes brown paper bag you can use a brown like if you get um brown paper bags like when you go to the grocery store or even if you go to the dollar tree you can get a pack of like uh brown paper lunch bags and you can cut those lunch bags into little sheets of paper and you can write your intentions out on uh paper hold on one second i actually i got you okay for example i went to aldi one day and they were all out of plastic bags so I had to use these paper bags. I don't like using paper bags, but you know what I do like using paper bags for? To write my spells on. <laughs> so I don't use the paper bags for my groceries, but I will use them for my spell writing. So here we go. This whole brown paper bag, this is a lot of spells that you can write on there. You would write your spell on a, on a, you can use it on brown paper or parchment paper, and then you would write your spell and you would put it right under your lodestones. Um, and, and you would use your lodestones for that. But here's the thing where I'm going to tell you what a lot of people don't tell you because they want you to spend more money and spend more money. And, and me, I'm about helping people. So these guys, you don't even have to program them to do anything specific. You can program them to do a lot of things like I just did. I programmed them to do multiple things. You don't have to put them to just do one thing because these guys have the energy already of healing. They have the energy of protection. They have the energy of success, of love, of sexual energy, business success. They have the energy of bringing me clients, bringing me um, business, uh, manifesting whatever it is I want, attraction. Um, you know, it ha they have, I've already programmed them to do all of these things. With everything that I just did, I've programmed them to do all of that. So, um, what I do, and uh, Desert Siren, oh, hold on, let me see what you guys said. I also use them to make labels for my herb jars. Just crunch them and burn the ends. Looks aged already. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. I've been tea staining and, staining and coffee staining. I could have just used a brown paper bag. Look at that. So, what I have been doing... Mm -hmm. I'll show you guys right here what I do. So Desert Siren, you're gonna recognize these guys because these are probably, oh, hold on, I got two females. These are probably what you've been seeing. The type of lodestones that you've been seeing. Hold on, let me find a girl and a boy. I know, let me find out I got all women. I know I packed a boy in here. Hold on, let me find them. There you go. There you are. Come here, you little sucker. Alright. Girl and a boy. See how this one's a little bit elongated? He's longer. This one's more round. Oh, you got, you got another one with you. Alright, hold on. This one's more round. So Desert Siren, these are probably the ones that you've been seeing around that they're they're really little, they're really small. These are still good lodestones, but they're not the big the big ones. Yeah, okay, I figured. They're not uh oh wait, hold on. 
Is that by speaking all that you you want when programming them? Yes, Trini, when you program something, it's speaking your intentions. You don't even have to do it out loud. You can do a lot of it in your head um, because telepathically they pick up on energies just like the universe does. That's why we always say be careful what you think, be careful what your, your words, because your thoughts create your reality. So when you're putting, when you're having these this intention in your mind, these are picking up on that. They pick up on vibration. They pick up on energy. They pick up on thoughts. They pick up on words. Um, when you speak, when you speak, you can feel you can feel a vibration coming off of your words. They pick up on this. So this is what they program. They're programmed to do. They they're programmed to do whatever it is that you want them to do. But here's what I'm telling you is that these little guys have a purpose as well. These right here, I, I call these, these are lodestones, but I call these riders. These are riders. These are foot soldiers. These are workers. These, you can, um, so when you do a mojo bag or you're doing a spell that requires you to, to program lodestones for a certain spell, you're going to do a certain spell and you need this energy from the lodestones. You do not have to use your big guys for this. But what you do is you put... These little guys, after you cleanse them, hold on, since I, I was going to put some dirty lodestones. Wait, hold on, let me quick cleanse these with some Florida water. Alright, so these are your riders. These are your foot soldiers. These are your, they're your, they're your little, these are your little workers. You don't have to do this with your big lodestones. You can use this with the little lodestones that you have access to, Desert Siren. Pick yourself some of those up because those are going to be your soldiers. You do not have to use your big guys for these. What you do with these is you put them onto your big lodestones. You let them ride on the big lodestones because then it charges them with that energy. It charges these big lodestones and they have that same energy and then you can use these little lodestones in your mojo bags. You can use them um, for whatever spells you're going to do because after you do that spell, after your spell uh, comes, it, it, after it's manifested, once your spell is manifested, then that's when you would bury these little guys. You would want to go ahead and bury them in the ground to keep that spell going and, and to keep it working for you. You don't have to do that with your big guys. You can keep using your big guys as your constant lodestones. You would use your little guys as your riders. These are your riders, your foot soldiers. That's what you would use these guys for. These are the little ones. These are cheaper to come by. You can get these guys in a bigger pack. And um, you can use them like, look it. I have them riding on the backs of my big lodestones. So they're charging. And then... Bobby, can you give me a, a scissors, please, my love? A what? A scissors? A scissors? Yeah. All right. But you would want to go ahead and feed them. You always want to feed them when you're asking for something. So I'm going to go ahead and feed them because I have programmed these guys for my New Year's spell. And I'm going to feed the little guys as well because after the little guys have that energy in that I want them to, and, and I can use that energy in, in my spells instead of using, and you can, you can just use a pinch. I, I went a little bit extra. You can use that energy of once, once these are charged and programmed, I would leave them like this for 24 hours. So tomorrow they'll be ready to go ahead and go into a mojo bag. They'll be ready to, um you know, work on a spell, if there's a spell I'm going to do, a business spell, or a love spell, or a sexual energy spell, whatever it is I'm going to do, once that manifests itself, then I can go ahead and put these guys to rest. I'm talking about the little soldiers, I'm not talking about the big ones, because these big guys, these are going to be your constant, uh, your constant conductors, your, your constant workers, whereas the little ones, you can use these for your, your spells, you can use these uh, once you manifest what it is that you're working towards, then you would go ahead and you would bury them or you could even give them to the river, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, you can give them to water if you want. Um, let's see, let me make sure I went over everything. 
Okay, so um, once you once you write your intentions onto your paper, and you you know once you take these little guys out, these little writers, and you want to go ahead and put them with your spell, you could you could write your spell on a piece of paper on your either your parchment paper, your brown paper. Make these guys your spell workers right here. These are your casting your casting stones. Use these as casting stones. Whereas these these big ones, these are gonna be your constant workers. These are these are not ever gonna go anywhere. You're, you're gonna constantly take care of these guys, and they're gonna constantly take care of you. But when you need some shit done, you get the little riders. You put the riders on their backs, let them get that energy, feed them, take care of them, and then once you put them to work, and once they manifest whatever it is that you've asked them to do for you, once that happens. Then you would go ahead and lay them to rest. You could bury them. You could, you know, like I said, you can give them to the water if you'd like. Um, whatever it is you want to do, you can keep them in a mojo bag and make them uh, workers for your mojo bags. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, once once you once you finish doing your spells though. One thing that you're not going to want to do is you're not going to want to leave these out where other people can see, especially if they're envious people. You don't want these anywhere where somebody's going to go, oh, what's this? And go and touch your lodestones. Same with your Rose of Jericho. You never want to let anybody, the people who, who are not of your household, who do not live with you, if they're just friends or visitors or family members, if you know that they're the touchy kind of people that they like to touch things and grab stuff, make sure you hide these you want to hide them because you do not want nobody to touch your lodestones you don't want anybody to touch your rose of jericho these are not for other people to touch these are for you and for you alone they are your workers they're they're like your consider these your private parts you wouldn't let anybody touch your private parts so don't let anybody touch your lodestones you don't want people touching these these are not to touch, not even to look at, because if they look at them and, and they have that envious energy or they wonder what they are, or what they're doing, that energy right there is not good for these guys. They do not like it. They will not work for you if, if that happens. So if you're going to have company at your home, put these guys away. Put them in a private area where nobody's going to see. Other than that, you should have them sitting at your altar. Don't forget to feed them. Um, don't forget to light your candle. So welcome them into your home. A proper welcoming. You want to go ahead and light your candle again. Use a natural material. Don't use a lighter for your candles. Use a natural material. I get these long wooden matches. And I'll keep using that wooden stick over and over again. I just burn it. I'll use a candle to light the stick. And then I'll light the other candle. And then that's how you welcome in your, your lodestones right there. Very simple, very easy. Again, I'm not using a big uh, ritual candle uh, or anything like that. You see that energy right there? See this? Even right here. There you go. That's how you welcome your lodestones into your home. And also how you do spells with your lodestones. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and catch up on your your comments. Alright, when, when you put your petition under the lodestones or bowl, when it manifests, can you remove that petition and put them to work on, on something else? Trini, that's right there is where I'm telling you, um, you would want to get... If you're going to want to keep these guys to keep doing spells for you, um, to keep doing different kinds of workings, um, I would get, if you're going to, if you're going to do a spell, not if you're just trying to bring in certain energy, because these guys are going to bring you that energy, whatever you program them to do, they're going to constantly bring that energy. But if you're going to want to do a spell, it's, it's different. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. It's a little bit different because when you do a spell, you make you make these guys you incorporate them into a spell you want to use the riders to do that you don't want to use your big lodestones your big lodestones are going to be your constant providers of energy whereas your little lodestones you can actually use them as like a sacrifice almost you put them to do one thing 
one spell after that spell manifests then you go ahead and you would bury them you would lay them to rest you and and while you when you bury them they're going to still continue to work your spell but you're laying them to rest you're you're giving them back to the earth and the earth is going to continue to bring that energy to you whereas your big lodestones you can keep these guys to keep bringing in that energy like it, whatever it is that you're wanting to um you know you can you can activate these and you can program them to work as many things as you want to do but when you cast them into a spell that is where you they're gonna do one thing and one thing only so if you're wanting to keep your lodestones and you don't want to use you don't want to use your big lodestones for a spell or for a job that's where your riders come in your riders will do just that one spell after that spell has manifested itself that's where you get rid of them you bury them or you would give them to the river however it is that you would want to uh, go ahead and lay them to rest that's how you would do it these big guys i recommend that you keep them as your constant energy as your constant flow of energy and you would feed them and take care of them and they're going to constantly provide for you as long as you provide for them but when you're wanting to do a spell i don't recommend that you use your big guys because these are harder to come by you're not gonna like exactly how desert siren had said she she can find the little ones but the big ones are a little bit harder to come by so when you have yourself a big pair of lodestones you want to keep this pair of lodestones and just use these little guys for your riders um hopefully that answered uh that answered that for you let's see oh you're welcome desert siren do you need the riders along with the big lodestones to do to work a spell can you just use the big ones yeah you can use the big ones trini um you can use your big ones but the thing is that the bigger ones are harder to come by whereas the little ones you you're you have a better chance of gaining access to the little ones um and i like to use the little ones as the riders for for certain spells and and the big ones are your constant energy flow um so i use the big ones for constant energy flow so as long as you feed them every time you feed them if you're wanting prosperity just put that energy of prosperity bring me you know bring me money bring me success bring me financial gain uh if you're wanting sexual energy bring me bring me a partner bring me romance bring me uh you know alluring energy um you could every time you feed them and I go on a clockwise motion because I'm bringing in. Uh, whereas if you're needing protection, if you're needing, if you're needing to remove anything, I would go with something else because these guys are all about attraction. They're all about that natural magnetic energy bringing to you, drawing in um, uh, for attraction, for manifesting. These are these are the ma master manifestation stones right here as lodestones because they're naturally magnetic. They are nat natural forms of magnetic energy. Um, let's see. Lodestones are like empaths then. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they very much they very much are. Whatever it is that, that you know, you're, you're putting out there, they're catching this energy. And that's how you program them. Let's see. Um, Desert Siren says, I buy a bag of wooden barbecue scores from the dollar store. Cheap and you can light everything. Great for lighting seven day candles. Yes. They, because, and, and then when you even, when you snuff your candle, that's the other thing, you guys. When you're doing a spell, never blow out your candle. Do not ever blow out your spell candle. Because when you blow out your spell candle, you're blowing away the intention. You want to snuff your candle. You can use a, you know, you can use a plate or whatever you have on hand. Or if you have a candle snuffer, you can do that. Or if you can snap your candle out. I'm not going to do it because I, I might snap this one out. But you can actually snap your candle out. Um, you know, when you're done, when you're going to, say you're going to leave and you don't want to leave your candle unattended. It, you got to be safe when you're performing workings because you don't want to burn your house down. Um, you know, so you want to be safe with, with candles. Uh, don't leave your don't leave your candles burning while you're not home. And uh, don't ever blow out your spell candle. You want to snuff it out or, you know, you want to kill a flame but not, not by blowing it out. Because you blow it, you blow away your spell. So once you, once you have, if you have a, a seven day candle... 
um, it'll start that flame, you know, especially if it's in like a glass thing, you know, it'll be hard to get to if you're trying to use a lighter to light that candle, you're going to burn your hand. So that's why uh, Desert Siren was saying you can get those, um, those skewers from Dollar Tree and you would just light the skewer and you can go ahead and put it as far as you need to put it to get to that, uh, the wick of the candle without burning yourself. So yes, always be safe when you're doing workings. Um, you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to accidentally burn your house down or anything like that. That won't help you at all. Um, okay, Trini got it. Nader says, I need them. I need them then because I am an empath too. Oh, awesome, Nader. Yeah, being an empath is, it's, it's a really, it's a really wonderful gift. And I know a lot of empaths consider it to be almost like a curse because some of the things that you feel and and that you know but it actually once you gain control over it and it no longer has control over you it's a wonderful gift because you're able to help people uh in a way that others can't so being an empath is a wonderful gift um let's see missy says thank you so much for the wonderful information i can't wait to get to get my stones same here i can't wait i'm learning a lot Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I kept you out for a while. It's already been an hour. Wow. Okay, pues. Well, that is it. That is my lodestone video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys like this. Uh, and, you know, I'll continue to make more videos. You know, you guys motivate me with your comments, with your, with your likes and everything. I know that you guys are enjoying these, so I'll keep them coming, you know. Um... I'm going to go ahead and get ready for my cleansing video because I'm going to quick do a cleansing of the home. Uh, oh, thank you guys so much. Uh, yes, yes, message me, text me or message me on Facebook and we'll go ahead and get those stones ready to be sent out to you. Um, Tuesday is when I get back to the shop. So, uh, yeah, let me let me know you guys. Um, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in a bit. I'm going to get ready for my cleansing video. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of talking. I mean, if Gido wants to answer any questions or anything like that, uh, I'll, I'll let him go ahead and do it. But while I'm doing the cleansing, I really like to be in the mode of pushing out. And, you know, I'll explain a little bit what I'm doing while I'm doing it. But I won't really be um, as... as um, interactive as I am and as I have been in this video and in the last one because I need more concentration while I'm doing it but you guys will be able to see me and everything that I'm doing and um yeah Jill will be recording that one so he'll be seeing you guys' messages and comments if you guys would like to join us for that video stay tuned if not I hope that you guys have a wonderful wonderful new year's and many blessings to you guys and I will see you at the next video. Blessed be.